Well, I've got this all cleaned up. I've got the chicken heads knobs on here. Um, I had a whole set of six of those. Or I actually did have six of them, but I only needed five. And uh, I got the front um, <coughs> cleaned up. It's got some fingerprints on it. Cleaned that up with some brass all. I cleaned the plastic lens in here with some Novus number two. And I cleaned all the knobs up with Novus number two. Thanks, Bob. That's uh, wonderful stuff. I've never even heard of it until I started watching your channel, uh, B. Anderson TV. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got this all cleaned up. Um, just waiting for parts. I'd like to put some new caps in there before I fire it up and use it. And guess what came today? A package. Radio parts from Canada. Canada Post. Oh, it won't focus. Canada Post. So, let's open this up and see what is inside. Let's see here. This side looks like it will open. It's very hard to do things one-handed. Especially when you're right-handed. I'm holding the camera with my right hand. I'm trying not to cut my finger off. Oh, look at <clears throat> Tons and tons and tons of parts. And there's some papers in here. And that's it. And we got another business card, I think. Yep, we do. Just radios. And we got, what do we got? Well, that's my packing list. That should be a printout of everything that I ordered. Yeah, the camera doesn't really see. Ah, oh, you can see there's numbers in there. What you do is you download, there's a... Um, an Excel spreadsheet that is this whole thing and it's all color coded the orange drops are orange and the yellow film caps are yellow and everything is all color coded and all you do is you type in the quantity I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up here and see um, it's a 5 picofarad mica cap I ordered two of them and it automatically tabulates the price and it automatically tabulates the total at the end it's really handy and all the prices are current you just download the new um, Excel spreadsheet and fill out your order what you want save it and email it to them um, with your PayPal payment or they do take credit cards I guess but I use PayPal <clears throat> this should be a new price list and it's just, a, it's a, just a, the mail in form oh yeah those over here and let's see what we got bubble wrap which I can't get into you'll just have to hold down here a second there we go okay this should be the capacitor kit um, I ordered capacitor kit 1b which is um, pre-war radio uh, most of the common values and that's what should be in here plus they send you um, some small heat shrink or spaghetti tubing they call it so that should be what's in here so I have to inventory everything in here and make sure everything is here and this should be the extra stuff that I ordered I ordered a bunch of um, electrolytics some of the higher voltage caps those are thousand volts um, some across the line caps, some silver mica caps, and some other values uh, that were not in this kit. Um, I can't remember exactly what they were, but I will inventory all my stuff and make sure it is here. And then what I'm going to do is, let's get rid of this. Then what I'm going to do is put everything in this chest of drawers. Um, I picked up five of these um, a couple years ago, maybe three or four years ago. 
Um, I think there's three of them that are this style with 36 single drawers in them. Um, two gray, one dark gray or black. I think the black one, dark gray or black one is metal. Uh, this is plastic, plastic housing. Um, there's three of them like this and there's two brand new ones that have um, three big drawers in the center and then uh, square two square drawers on each side here and here and the rest of them are small drawers um, I don't really like those but they kind of came as a package deal uh, Family Life Ministries uh, have an annual auction every every year and that's why it's called annual and everybody donates stuff and these all came up there was I think two of them or three of them had stuff in them in the drawers all kinds of different stuff I didn't know what it was it was electronic stuff the guy said and he didn't know what was in there and so they started the bid and I won for 15 bucks the three cases that had stuff in them they weren't full you know like maybe half of the drawers had things in them nothing labeled just stuff and he said well give them the two that are new and empty also so I got those um, didn't really want them but you know I've stole some drawers out of them to put in this one because there was a couple broken drawers and drawers that were missing um, like I said they weren't full but the ones that have things in them there's a bunch of ICs and some capacitors and various high powered resistors and things I don't know who had them but I've got them now so that's what I'm going to do is sort through all my stuff verify everything is here and load this and label all the drawers that's my goal I also have a complete set of the uh, dividers that go in here uh, I actually have several sets of the dividers but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use them or not there's 36 drawers I don't know if I have 36 different parts but if not then I'm going to put each part in its own drawer just because it's easier to find stuff that way uh, but anyway that's what we're going to do so I'll catch back with you guys in a few minutes well alrighty everything is sorted out and labeled and in here in numerical order with the smallest value here to the largest value here of the the poly caps and then these are empty just for um, any values I might have forgot up here or other stuff I may want to add later um, this is all just for restoring my old radios and stuff. And then we've got the high voltage 1600 volts down here. I've only got two of each of those sizes, but I'm probably going to get more of them with my next order. Um, these are safety capacitors, same thing. I've only got one value, um, but I'll probably grab a couple different values um, of those the next time I order. I put all the silver mica caps together just because they're labeled well and it's very rare to need them you know they're just usually the mica caps are, are good in a radio although I've had a couple bad in the last two that I've done so I've got just a, a random selection there which I should be able to make just about every value uh, everything from uh, five picofarads up to three thousand so I should be able to make anything that I need and then I've got electrolytics over here ten 16, 20, and 30 microfarads, all at 500 volts. So that's a pretty good, well-rounded uh, selection, um, and we're going to probably use up a couple of them next. I'm going to tear this apart since it's pretty simple, and I want to get it working. So I'm going to tear this apart and recap this, and then we'll get back and see if it works. Alrighty, we've got her all recapped. Um, I've tried to keep everything about where it was under the chassis, like the electrolytic was right here in the center. I've tried to keep everything lined up so that, uh, because this is an RF uh, generator, and RF tends to be kind of finicky about lead placement and everything. So I tried to keep it just about the way it was. Um, this cap here and this other blue cap here are across the line, actually lined to ground. So I put safety caps in there. Um, they were not originally safety caps. They were uh, just .01s at 400. Um, this little blue guy 
was a replacement but I replaced it as well uh, that was down here in this area and this I believe is also a replacement for a um, selenium rectifier uh, this says it's a model 50 and then it says 3A right here this might be the original but that 3A I would think means 3 amps and this only draws 50 milliamps according to the schematic so I replaced that with um, a little terminal strip here and a 1N4007 one, uh, one um, diode so that's all under there and that's all good um, I'm going to hook it up to the oscilloscope here and see what kind of an output we get. So, we'll fire it up here. And we'll see. As you can see, it's a funny looking waveform. That should be a, a sine wave but it's not. Um, the frequency control does affect it and the band switch does work. I mean everything works. Um, you can modulate it <clears throat> which means it's basically being an AM radio. This is the carrier frequency. That's the frequency that I set with this dial here. And then when I turn the modulation on you see that widens out. That's 400 Hertz which is an audio tone you'd be able to hear being modulated on there. So if I have an AM radio and I turn this on, I would hear a tone out the speaker, which I'll demonstrate later once I get the uh, sine wave looking better. I'm going to get the, uh, the book. I, I uh, have the PDF of the book, the manual, on the computer. I'm going to look that over and see if there's any troubleshooting as to why that would be a funny looking waveform like that and not a sine wave. Um, there's probably a, another cap or something or maybe a resistor that's out of tolerance. So, we will check that out and I will get back with you. Alrighty, I got the schematic printed out for the ICO 324. Um, from what I've seen online, it's not really supposed to be a very pure sine wave. Um, this unit was only, I think, 50 bucks when it was new and it does its job but it's it's kind of crude but there were some pointers and some hints on how you can make it look a little bit better and closer to a sine wave but I'm gonna go through this tomorrow and check the values of the resistors and check the wiring and everything and see if it uh, matches up to the schematic and I will update tomorrow so thanks for watching and watch part two tomorrow